everybody was in this hop heavy bracket except for like these two really good people. Mm -hmm. And then that's just the end of the bracket. I don't know. I just see it as like a. I want to. I want to be mean about it. Just like as a. If this, is, I'm an asshole. If this isn't for something though. It's just like. <laughs> I'm sorry, young man. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So we jumping into this game right here. We got Bayonetta. We're, yep, we're gonna be seeing Jazzy G and uh. Um. Wait, wait, wait. I wait, wait. Is I this, was gonna pull is this something. Uh, Saturn. I think. Is that, is, is that his full tag or something? No, no. It's just. It's just uh. It makes it a little bit difficult to commentate, so I'm just gonna say Ness Boy. It makes um, it a little difficult to see uh, because my eyes glaze over when I see it. I'm. Mm -hmm. so it's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, um, that was like a words. So this, it, uh, this <laughs> matchup is like really, really like in this matchup, but the positioning for Ness is like super, super key, and you like see the way that Uz giving Jazzy a lot of space. Mm -hmm. um, but also staying in shield when at like a slightly closer mid range, and that's just really, really important to make sure you're not going to get hit up by like any scoopy side bees. Um, you know, and 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 I was just like making sure that's going to be a kill. kill. Have to just put himself right in front. Really unfortunate. Yeah, nice early air dodge to get back onto stage, knowing that Jazzy was going to go commit to the match guard. Ooh, very tough for Jazzy to try to fight. The situation is uh, Ness is pulling up that wall and is up his stock. Mm -hmm. What I also really like from Oz, every time I see him land a PK fire, he immediately like opts to to start um knowing that like Bayonetta can witch time out of it, getting the drag down forward into the forward throw. So much stage control for Oz right now. He has like yeah. he has a lot of momentum. The stakes are very crucial from what I'm seeing in this matchup because mm -hmm. Bayonetta is super tall and the combo game looks very easy on her. For Ness, <laughs> as he's able to get that uh, drag down to throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good that he's going through drag down forward there at those high percents because at low percents, just about anybody can mash out of it. It's not safe enough on hit. But Jazzy uh, finally able to take a stock with the back hill. Jazzy just needs to find a way to be able to initiate. That PK Thunder spacing was really, really good. Yeah, very soft. Ooh, that PK Fire Snipe right there just to catch the landing was mm -hmm. smart. I like that. So good on Jesse to SDI out uh, just to not get hit by all of that. Mm -hmm. It's a very damn move to get hit by. Ooh, trade. It's a very. Yeah, trying to take the stock scary. with up smash, but Bayonetta is like you know able to circumvent Yo Yo really really well compared to a lot of the cast. Um, right now, uh, is just looking to maybe get the. P oh my God. Ooh, that I was thought very that... solid to mash that up beat right there right in his face just to not get uh, punished. And die. There's definitely death percent right here. Let's back it up. That's gonna be killed. Yeah. So I feel like um I feel like uh did a really really good job of just spacing himself away just outside of Bane at his burst range. He was really being generous with it, but not so much space that he was putting himself into the corner unnecessarily. He made it super, super difficult for Jazzy uh, to break space on Ness. Because like once Ness starts getting a little bit closer, um, you know, that's like when Jazzy is like, or Bayonetta rather, is like able to, um, you know, initiate a lot of things. Bayonetta has like a lot of burst potential. So us uh, seems really, really experienced in the matchup. And I also feel like his SDI out of Bayonetta's Uppy um, was very appropriate as well. I saw him fall out of it pretty early sometimes. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, this is this could be uh, like a Bane type of matchup, like a like a bad existing matchup for Bayonetta because Ness could just like mash trades out of nowhere and just <laughs> ruin her her combo game or just throw her to death if she makes a mistake. And plus, she's like tall enough to get comboed by him in, in funny ways. So she has to like Bayonetta has to watch how she approaches Ness. Mm -hmm. That's and I think I think with the bolts probably being absorbed by PK Magnet. They do not. No, no. They don't. The okay. bullets are physical projectiles. Oh, okay. Then she can probably get. A, oh no, he's short. So yeah, no, but like, listen, Bayonetta, Bayonetta can camp. Bayonetta can camp. That character, that character has all the tools she needs to be able to camp. Okay, but uh, positioning himself on the battlefield platform, he's able to get those double jump cancel PK fires. Not finding much off of it yet. Ooh, I feel PK like he's catching. Yeah, he's catching all of these landings from Jazzy. Ooh, uh, with the combo. PK yeah. fires. Yeah, Bayonetta is kind of uh, putting you in uncomfortable situations when she gets the hit. 
but this. Yeah. That Honestly, last match was kind of obvious that she gets it. Oh, that shots, shots. Mm -hmm. Get that kill. I think that F smash was really brilliant. Jazzy, like they definitely caught on to the fact that uh was going to try to push him with the double jump cancel magnet or like with the double jump forward or something. And Jazzy was like, okay, I'm gonna wait for you. I'm gonna wait for you to push a button, and then you're gonna blow up and die for it. Ooh, forty percent um, off on anti air. That was pretty good for from Jazzy. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, almost getting the full hop tomahawk. Definitely had the right idea, but just a little bit too slow on the execution for it. Um, almost taking the stock with the back three, but not quite yet. Very scary stuff for here. Jazzy's like kill percent potentially against his nest. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also liking the fact that Jazzy's not like throwing away her uh, character. Yeah, I, f I feel like by, uh, by doing random side bees, Growly wants to. Mm -hmm. Always go for the air one. Really good tool from it for Bayonetta to play neutral with. It's a very fast move. It's very hard to punish. I feel like uh, compared to the last game, he's playing a lot more in the air. He's not playing as grounded and much like out of shield as he was before. And then as a result, I feel like he's kind of getting blown up for it. Jazzy's doing a really, really good job of capitalizing on that Bayonetta. I mean, that character calls out jumps like nobody else, honestly. Um, yeah, you can be a thin uh, deer, goose, duck, whatever. <laughs> when you're fighting Bayonetta, who has that side B that comes out super quick and convert and is able to convert off of it. That run in that Udd did was so brilliant. He pushed Jazzy out of the PK fire so that Jazzy couldn't witch time out of it, waited for the whiffed witch time, and then was able just to get a free up to smash or whatever move he uh, threw out there. That was just really, really smart, really good at winning this on his And convert off that side B. Mm -hmm. would have been a drag down border? Oh no. Not high enough yet. Next one's gonna do it though. Yeah, 100 yeah, left. Be careful. Definitely. Oh, the last hit. Yeah, something you have to be a little bit mindful of is up smash will cover a lot of characters' goal distance, but now this is a completely even game. Both characters at their last stock, 0%. Oh. Uh, I might like that I did an absolute like a down to any. Oh, she's getting burnt. She's getting burnt. Damn. Peak fires right there. You see, the nice. one time that Ud jumped, he gets called out for an eight, a little bit of percent. Like, every time that he's, like, pushing into the air by himself. Mm. Oh, yeah. like, right there. Look at oh, this. No. Nice. And that's SPI, then he does the mashy mashy. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was, like, a whole smash for him, but... I think she would have killed off of that. <laughs> Ooh. That situation could have been lethal for all right there. But this could be it here. Nope, not at all. Battlefield oh, has the okay. highest ceiling. Oh, okay. Making it really, really difficult for Bayonetta to like kill on this kind of stage. Just easy to start extending things off the top platform. Mm, snipe. Nice. Mm -hmm. Jazzy put uh, in a really bad situation there because Jazzy, I mean, that's something like if you really know about the Nest Bayonetta matchup. If you go for the neutral air dodge and out of tumble, you don't have enough fall speed to actually outlast all of Bayonetta's bullets, right? You, you because of how floaty Ness is. Um, so, in order to do a fast fall, fall air dodge, you first have to either throw out something like neutral. Um, Manessa's neutral air is actually able to beat the bullets. So, if, uh, like, is a little bit more careful, like, next game, if he is ever, like, being edge guarded by the bullets, he needs to remember that, like, Ness has the ability to smack back the bullets. And, and, and just, like, With you know. No, no, goodness, no, 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 when, when he's recovering, not smack them back, but just uh, neutralize them with his own hitbox. Oh, you mean like narrow it as he, as he sees it coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's that's really... That's, like a, that's a very tough situation to probably do it if you're like putting it abruptly. Because you're yeah. like, oh, I'm playing neutral. I'm, oh, shoot, I just got hit. What's going to happen mm -hmm. next? All right, maybe I can get this chance to recover. She's charging gun, you don't even notice, and she smokes you. Mm -hmm. Like Something like that can happen. Yeah, I think I think Jazzy did a really, really good job of catching us jumps. Catching, uh, I think his facing this game was not nearly as generous as it was in the first game. Um, and that might have something to do with just Battlefield's general platform. But I yeah. feel like he was playing, he was trying to force it a little bit too much. He was playing really, really up close, all up in Jazzy's face. Um, and then just jumping in a lot. And Jazzy did a great job of calling those out, piling on the damage and getting the edge guards, which is definitely what you want to be doing. I think Jazzy played the matchup super, super well. Uh, um, so it'll be interesting to see how both players will adapt in, uh, in game two. Yeah, that's true.
I think they're gonna switch stages here real quick. I don't think they're gonna change characters though. Because both players can turn around in their situation with their character. Play well enough. Probably just a stage switch. I'm guessing probably PS2, maybe. Mm -hmm. I said PS2 because I see it on, on Devin's like, character thing. <laughs> that would be a good pick. This is, this is the gate to me. Oh, no, we're going to be opting for Smash, Smash Phil. That's a, that's a good idea on us part because like he's trying to keep it really like nice and close so that he can initiate a little bit sooner so that he's not forced to play back nearly as much getting the triple up here the third one not fully connecting only going to get the drag down but because of how high up he was he's not going to be able to get anything off making it pretty unsafe on her oh with that there they're, they're gonna kick it there twice just to get punished there. very harsh oh <laughs> Wherever you go, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good coverage, but uh, taking that nice luck. Yeah, he spun it around, just like waiting and, and reacting to what Jazzy is gonna do. Getting the double four leader, keeping Jazzy locked in the corner. Um, but finally able to get a little something started. <laughs> Unfortunately, side being the wrong direction. Yeah, this is the. Uh... Very looking tough for Jazzy right here. Jazzy has to take the stock and fight back. And oh, I had the right idea. You oh. saw him back up. He like anticipated a defensive option from Jazzy, but he didn't capitalize it. On. He didn't capitalize on it in time. Ooh, PK fire. I'm liking the use of PK fire to okay. get started a little bit. Because Ben is like so tall, she's like able to get hit by that easily too. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't uh, bat within it. Ooh, back air, catching all that ledge roll. That's solid. Yeah. Oh, had the right idea on the jump, but he drifted unfortunately a little bit too far in. Jazzy was able to re uh, just reclaim center stage. Stage. Ooh. Okay, so we kind of get up at second, yeah, knowing that all of Yo-Yo's are oh, about to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Interesting exchange right there. Mm -hmm. I would expect the Witch Time to come out like once, like it's like a later percentage. You could get the kill for getting the Witch Time off, but... The fact that he was able to recover and block it the time just to avoid anything that Jazzy was going to do to him. Yeah, Jazzy, like, I mean, uh, Uz trying to call out a full hop from Jazzy. You see him starting to fish for these back hills a little bit, forcing Jazzy to maybe play a little bit more grounded. He's trying to condition Jazzy to shield the up here. Not going to kill quite yet. But this is going to set up into a perfect... Um, not able to get much more off uh, except the tail hit. Yeah, as Jazzy, he's trying to catch a jump or something just to get started with these uh, air after burner kicks. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like Uh has properly conditioned Jazzy not to be jumping in. Like, we saw how many times he's thrown out back here, but he's still not able to find the stock. He's still not going through the grabs. He's still not going through the up smash. Mm -hmm. That was a sweet spot. That was death. But... He still really, really wants that back air kill, and Jazzy is being really aware of that. Um, and, and just, like, not letting him have it at all. Ah, but that's the drag, drag down, down forward. Yes. Yeah, that's gotta be it right there. That's pretty good tool for Nesta to have on tall characters such as Bayonetta. Ooh. Blocks up smash and gets a full punch for it. I like that he goes through drag down forward rather than up a lot because it's very <gasps> rare in a situation. Oh, oh! Good tech. Good tech. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's my cool. Yeah. No, he, I, think, I think Jazzy got the spike hitbox. Yeah, uh, that's like unfortunately. the very Oh, that's... Oh, what? Oh, I think Jazzy was expecting like the up beat to hit him. So he was trying to like get a witch time off us to get a kill from it. But... Yeah. So he gets to the kill regardless. He just took yeah. a little bit more percentage. Ninety-five percent. You know, Jazzy definitely has a bit of a mountain to climb. But right now, just keep thing up uh, in this advantage for so long. Finally, the drag down up here into the forward throw, knowing that back throw is better than not, not to stale it at that point. But able to back on some really, really good damage on up. Uh, Jazzy has to find a way to properly circumvent this PK Thunder. Good stalls off stage, not going for the getup attack early, knowing that O was trying to bait it. That was so, so smart, knowing that O could drop it and shield in time uh, to try to bait the getup attack. That was really, really smart for him, Jazzy. That was a sick poke, you guys were saying. Oh, but the trade. Oh, the drop on the that happened. Mmm, good stuff to O right there. Zara is not dead. She has let out her last breath. <laughs>
Tinhas da Erva Jazz, hein? 